A, alright. I forgot to do something yesterday. Let me see. I'm gonna do it today, though. I'm gonna do it today. It's something on my glasses, bro. The worst thing about wearing glasses is that it's hard to keep smudges off of them and dust particles and shit. It's hard just to walk around with nice, clean glasses all day, bro. And then your vision be messed up, but you don't even realize your glasses are dirty. Like, damn, it's blurry as hell. It ain't really blurry. Your glasses just... <sighs> Y'all don't know my struggle, though, bro. It's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. Y'all don't know it, bro. My mic is not... Mic on. Wow. Y'all didn't even hear shit I just said. Wow. Okay. It's cool, bro. Y'all don't know it, bro. My mic is not... Mic on. Wow. Y'all didn't even hear shit I just said. Did wow. y'all hear anything okay. I just said about the glasses being fucked off, bro? My mic was red. Oh, uh, we back. We back. What's good? Everybody was popping. This your boy. It's Jack move, man. Bit whack moving this motherfucker. Yeah, man. We in this joint. You heard me? All right, cool, 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 cool. So, I'm thinking today I'm finally going to start this cookie cutter, bro. I think this is the day I'm starting it. Now, be warned. I know one of the homies got this game. Four Crueler got this game. And I asked him about Cookie Cutter. I'm like, is Cookie Cutter a good streaming game, brother? And he said, man, I rage quit the game. He said, I'm close to the end. And uh, I don't think he can beat this shit. He said he could beat it, but it was irritating. I don't think he could beat this shit, all right? I'm going to just be real. But then when I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute. Ford, not Jack Move. I'm Jack Move. So that's how that go, okay? It's a Metroidvania game, man. I think this is like a revenge story or some shit. Oh, god fucking damn it. I accidentally turned my TV off. God damn it, man. All right, here we go. I guess we starting this today. Now, I'm not doing a full playthrough of this game. If anything, I stream it for a couple of hours today, and I start playing it in the meantime, in between time when I'm not streaming, all right? I need to start gaming off stream, people. Oh, this kind of fire. It's actually really fucking dope. Got some good, got some good, uh, what I'm trying to say. Thumbnails already, man. I got about three thumbnails already. Y'all see that? Hmm. Okay. Should be light, right? I, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm really, I'm really a beast at these games. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but, uh, I'm really about that. I'm really about that. Never played this game before, man. I saw this, I saw this game at little preview events on, on IGN. I'm like, that shit look dope. So I gotta get it. Tried to get a review. Matter of fact, I tried to get a review copy of this game. They pretty much told me to go fuck myself. They ain't never sent me a review copy. I'm like, fuck it, I'ma buy it, right? This shit crazy, bro. Long as I've been streaming, I still can't get review copies, bro. First, there was the void. And from the void came the matter. And like a cancer floating within nothingness, the megastructure. Many sought to discover its secrets. I got Rise of the Ronin, this dog shit. All, that is, except for Victor Garbanzos. He led the Infonet Corporation deep into the Fuck heart Rise of the, of the structure and vanished. For years he was gone, presumed lost like all others. But one day Victor returned. He emerged from the heart of the megastructure with incredible knowledge, unbelievable technologies, and immeasurable power. To the astonishment of the people, he declared that the worthy would no longer fear death, that the Infonet Corporation would forever preserve their souls in immortal metallic bodies. Metallic bodies called Denzels. At his command, the Denzels built the magnificent Golden City, Mecca to the Chosen, epicenter to all the knowledge and the power of the megastructure. All that was 212 years ago. The Garbanzos family and their Infonet Corporation still rule the megastructure today. No one knows what was found in the shadows centuries ago, Probably or the true nature of the power that it gave. But the promised utopia was a lie. The Denzels aren't blissful, eternal vessels for devoted souls. They are the mechanized prisons of industrial slaves, bound forever to the will and whim of the noble corporation. Rebels fight against the tyranny, but their efforts are hopeless. Infonet's twisted armies are just too powerful. 
My name is Shinji Fallon. Once the engineer at Infonet, I was a part of their machine. And yes, I stood by as lives were destroyed. But no more. I will end this. My only hope is to know what they know. For that, I must follow in their footsteps and journey to the heart of the megastructure. I think you play as one of them Denzel I robots. Denzel. Yeah. One see. beyond their control. I've manufactured Denzels before, but this one was. Hold on, I'm a little baddie. Hold on, what's this going on? This was creation, not construction. As the spark of her took hold, there was something. Something I didn't expect. Something well, I, I know of some rule 30. Oh, I was looking for. I know of some rule 34. This joint boy Cherry gave life to me. Man, she what the hell going is on? My happiness. Yo, we shared a beautiful life together, but we still planned to find the truth. We just never got the chance because one night infinite came for us. If Rebirth is a flop because it sold less than Remake, then Last of Us 2 is a flop because it, I agree with you. Sure, why not? I agree. The Last of Us 2 definitely didn't sell well compared to the first game. It sold half of what the first game did. That's not no success. So they, they clapped Cherry, which is me. I ain't know they were bumping coochies on this joint. Damn, I would have played this earlier. Fuck. And they said cookie cutter. I ain't know they meant. You know what I mean? They talking about a different type of cookie on this motherfucker. Yeah, a little story. Got some voice acting so far, man. I'm good with it, bro. Now, I do know one thing about this game. Like, you get like a sidekick, but the sidekick's supposed to look like a, a coochie or some shit. I, I don't know, though. There's something going on with this joint, bro. It's starting to make sense, bro. Do I move or? Oh, should I do? Holy shit. The animation on this game so far is beautiful, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Look at the visuals on this joint so far, bro. They fucked her up. This game is called Cookie Cutter, man. Cookie Cutter. You play as a Denzel robot, they got a... Oh, shit. There she go. Please, let her go. And why would I do that? Is that Marilyn Manson? What the fuck going on? Really, Shinji? Does this thing actually mean something to you? It says, I hate the word cooch. I prefer the word pussy and twat. I think the word coochie's better. Why, why, you, why you hate that word, brother? Just let her be, Salem. You got me. An indie game with full voice act? No, I think he got full voice act. Please, give her back to me. I don't think so. Hey, Diggates, dispose of this abomination. It's time to go. Hey, hey Diggates. How you feel about the word dickhead? Wait! Come on. <laughs> Damn! They turned me in a bench. What the fuck? That frame break? The aesthetics of this game so far pretty fire, bro. I don't know, dag. This might be one of them ones with the gameplay on point. This might be one of them ones. A lot of loading screens, though. Good morning, kiddo. Wasn't sure if you were going to get out of bed today. Who the fuck is this? Oof, yeah, gotta say, I felt better. You look better, too. <laughs> you have the nightmares again? Ugh, don't want to talk about it. I'm going to take that as a yes. Jog loose any new memories about your primary function, at least. Not even remotely. Half my life. I know it's confusing. Just give yourself some time. How about we talk about some good news instead? Yeah, I'm cool with that. 
Lay it on me. You should know I'm ready, Cherry. Can't you feel it? I surely can. Oh, that's the joint that look like the pussy. You see that? Regina. Wow, this is crazy. Or is it Regina? Well, it's supposed to be like Virginia. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about no more, y'all. testing is complete, and I'm happy to report that your core structure is powered up and firing on all cylinders. Cookie Cutter is fully active. What the fuck is Cookie Cutter, though? Whoa, 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 down there. Hold up. You're saying I'm good to go? You better believe it. All systems are in the clear, girly. It's finally time to bring Shinji back home. He got them African uh plate lips, you know what I mean? Like the joints you put the no mind. Hell bro. yeah! Ugh, I've wasted enough time already. Let's freaking do this. Take care of yourself, Raz. I owe you one. When you're right, you're right. And you're right. <laughs> Listen, I know my timing ain't the best, but I'm gonna call in that favor now, if you don't mind. It says everybody is a robot in this game. No, no. Shinji not a robot. Uh that Simon dude ain't no robot. I don't know about this dude right here, but most people is them, uh, what's they call Denzel <laughs> robots. You don't waste any time, do you? Okay, what you need? Uh, you know, no big. Just a huge, ugly bug stole my backpack and fled underground. It's got all my tools in it. But those creepy suckers scared the shit out of me. No way I'm going down there. Can you maybe do me a solid and retrieve it? Fine, you big baby. I'll squash the scary bugs for you. <laughs> I'll be back before you get hungry. Oh, that's hurtful. I'm working on me every day, but I'm gonna need those tools if you want me to work on you. Thanks. Glad we resolved this. Off you go. See you on the flip, girly. I hate the way this character stands, by the way. I fucking hate the way she stands. I, I can't stand it, bro. I don't know why they make you stand like that. That's that's kind of like, nah, bro. I ain't fucking with that. Hmm. These are Shinji's logs. Unfortunately, they seem to be encrypted. Oh, you ain't gonna say the rest of it? So, I think I can go both ways. No pun intended. Let me see. I can. This is a checkpoint. If you ever fall during battle, your body will be reconstructed at the last visited checkpoint. Convenient. Okay, how you pull up the map? Okay. World map. Find Raz's bit backpack. Uh, I gotta go the other way. Hmm. Huh. What is this? This is a dental station. You can change your equipment here. You will also be able to teleport to other dental stations from here. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the way her legs look, bro. About Denzel stations. System upgrades, cook dens oh, collect right. I can jump down from here, I think. I can't go that way yet, okay. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. A lock door. Boy, it's locked. It appears we will need to I can't jump off this wall, can What's the point of that? Okay. I'm so confused right now, bro. I can't go that way yet. So I guess I am going this way. What the fuck is this? I don't, I don't know. I guess you gotta. Yeah, yeah, I know. Elevator. That's gonna take you back. Right. I ain't got no double jump yet, so I can't get up there. We're trying to figure it out, y'all. Another locked door. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they made her legs so fucking big. That look crazy. Standing like a goddamn thug. Fucking day low, I'm a stare. No wall jump, can't get up there. Okay. Huh? Oops. Ooh, that jump kind of delayed a little bit. Oh dear. I sense danger ahead. Use your quick attack to dispose of this enemy threat. 
Don't forget oh. to combos if you execute your quick attack in rapid succession. So that's her coochie talking? I ain't even peeped that. Oh, that's fucking crazy. Quick attacks don't deal a lot of damage, but they do recharge your void. Pay attention to the white bar in the upper left corner as you fight your next enemy. Oh, I think that's actually her and her shit, bro. Weapons and combat abilities you'll find on your journey. You can spend void to use weapons in combat. Enemy attacks and even hazards simply by pulling out of harm's way. L2, alright, cool. This enemy just dropped bits. It's a currency that can be exchanged all around the mega structure for bits. Look at this. The enemy just dropped bits, right? But what are bits? Bits are currency that can be exchanged all around, right? This just like Twitch. But y'all ain't dropped no bits in my chat. That's crazy how they work, right? To defeat any potential threats, they can drop valuable materials that will likely be useful. To hey you man, know. life imitates art all the time, man. That's all I'm saying, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, what we doing? I can only move it up and down. I can't move it side to side. I guess the room ain't big enough. Okay, awesome gold shit right there. What the fuck? What is that? Hey, hey! Cassie dropped some bits in the chat. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. I guess you press up just to save it. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know, y'all. Appreciate that, Cassie. This Cold looks explosive. Classic cage cheered. X300. Take my bits. Thank you, Cassie. This looks explosive. I oh, it's not. What is this? A gauntlet, powerful fist, able to change attack, right? ground attack. Oh my god, they got too many, too many joints, bro. Mechanical knockout. Oh, I used all of it. Cost money to do that. Oh no, I used all my money doing attacks. I'm a fucking idiot. The gauntlet deals great damage. Also consumes void. Keep an eye on your void meter as you fight these convenient. Oh no, I used all my money trying out the moves. My dumb ass. I gotta save my money to do the moves, say y'all. Y'all see that? So now my boy hustling zero wl cheered x 500 you me and hustle now we was on that we was on that uh the hell divers together brother i know you remember that damn no you remember that hell divers we used to run it together brother i was on that shit yesterday on on the ass that's kind of cool Oh, I guess you max out at a hundred. You can't. What? Okay. Ooh, got a little uppercut in action. Why well, I didn't go over there with him though? Let me see. I hate. I hate when you can't. How the fuck I'm supposed to do the second part of the move? I don't know how to do the second part of the move, y'all. Cause I don't, I don't go over there with him. Yeah, I don't go over there with him. How the fuck am I gonna do the second part? So if I'm up in the air, can I? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I do that. L one. Is that a parry? Let's try this. I can't even get up there. Oh. 
And I'm not hitting the L1 because I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm ass at that. My parry game is not on point, chat. And I was I wasn't even hitting that one at first because I'm stupid, but holy shit. The fuck is this? I don't get it. Self-soothing. What the fuck? Is that what this is? I don't, I don't, I don't. Luckily, if you find yourself in Appreciate that audible brother. Appreciate that brother. Uh, Andrew, you can always check your healing function. Scram forward to replenish your health for. So what the fuck is this? I'm not healing anymore. I don't I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm I'm confused. I ain't got a lot of shit in it, bro. Okay. That's that. This burger is TNT, explosives as a nuke, addictive like a loop. There are two uh, all mutant patties, atomic sauce, radio back to pickles, creamy mosquito pus, and a synthetic fluffy bun. Come to uh, K Napalm, the king of nuclear taste. Are you brave enough? What the fuck is this? I, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm sorry. There's some shit right there too. Okay. Very interesting game so far, man. I don't. Okay, they got a slide mechanic. Good shit. Which way should I go, though? Oops. Oh, this is like a boss fight or something. This is gonna be a fight. Get the fuck away from here. I ain't, I ain't equipped yet. A map, okay. They're showing me where I'm at currently. Oh, what the fuck? I'm about to die, yo. I'm about to fucking die. I don't even know how to hit, bruh. Oh no. I am damn bad right now. Miss Gracious, this looks like Raz's backpack. We mustn't waste time in returning it back to him. Backpack is so heavy and rusty, it could tiny some useful tools. Let me get the fuck out of here. Hopefully this shit saved, I doubt it. Oh. Can I save it right here? Don't get it. Well, would you look at that? You found my backpack. I gotta be honest, I thought you were gonna die. I'm glad you didn't though. Now, I've got a proper reward for you. So listen, the sector has two different exits. Take this here key to open the gates or to the side, and you'll be able to explore the world beyond. One last thing. If you find any components along the way, bring them back to me, and maybe I can upgrade them for you. Thanks, man. Although I find your lack of faith disturbing. There was no way those silly bugs were gonna stop me. Yeah, I know, I know. You just go out there and bring Shinji back. It's a uh, hidden diner key. Carriers ago, I mean, carriers. Centuries ago, the hidden diner was visited by the countless travelers from all over the place, all over the world. And today, in ruins. Uh, so it, it opened up both of the doors. I ain't got to pick which one I open up. Is that what it's telling me? Dude, this replenished my health. How the fuck I replenish my health? I thought the the little Denzel shit did that. Right, Raz look like BG. You think so? You ain't all the way wrong. So this shit don't replenish my health, bro. How the fuck I replenish my health? The down button shit ain't working no more. I'm so confused, bro. World map. All right, and it's telling me to go both ways. I'm so confused, chat. What we think about this game so far, man? I'm about to die. There's gotta be a way I can replenish my health besides pushing the down button shit. 
Just pretend it's ketchup. I'm detecting an attempt at communication with the outside coming from the top level of this area. We should investigate. Okay. Oh, shit. Let me see. I can read this properly. Uh -huh. Biohazard Academic Keep Out of Quarantine Infonet Corporation. That's just a solid room. Why y'all think Raz is like BG, man? I got my health back. Yay, I got my health back. Yay. I don't know if I got to manually save it after I click save or not, but uh, looks like to require an elevator key card to proceed. Okay. I know this game probably gets extremely difficult and ridiculous. Help. Jesus, what the F happened to this guy? There's an extreme rapid mutation cascading through his biological systems. Can you get a little closer? Ew, no way. I'm fine right where I'm at. Just look at him. His goddamn eyes look like they'll pop out any second. Fine, I am attempting to observe the phenomenon from here in order to establish a cause. Listen, listen to me. Don't, uh, what does it say? Don't, don't eat that big thing. What? Did I leave? I ain't mean to leave. You clearly have some distress, sir. How can we help you? Just kill me, please kill me. Yeah, no, sorry, man. You're gonna have to ride this one out on your own. What the hell happened to you? Maybe you ate some expired food. I don't think that's the source of the problem. It is the big space mammal. Not good. Uh, Regina, do you think he's hallucinating? I'm not really sure. Okay. Uh, Warren is posted outside. You may have been infected with a virus. Do you know anything about it? She's eating my brain. Oh God, oh God. Well, at least we can see that he's not faking it. All right, well, shit. He on some other shit. Oh, you can melee that. Can I? I was gonna go on kill, buddy. I'm gonna go on kill, buddy, bro. What's going on, chat? What are we talking about? Hey, man, RIP OJ, man. That was fucked up. The boy OJ Simpson passed away, bro. OJ and uh, Mr. C died too, bro. The, the DJ Mr. C, bro. The one almost got Charlemagne the guy clapped that one time. This shit crazy. I can't jump on that? This is not a, that is a solid structure, right? Ooh wee, ooh wee, with the parry. Oh, oh, y'all see it? Y'all see it, man? Why they, why they, why they trying me like that? Why they trying to boy whack move like that? Say it saved it. So there's no reason for me to redo it, right? Kind of confused, y'all. Oh my God. Damn, why motherfucker be doing work? Why motherfucker be putting in work, bro? Some shit down yonder. I don't know when I can heal myself on this game. I guess one of them circles gotta be around. I surprised you fucking with the roguelike Prince of Persia. Uh, you not fucking with it. Shit looks fire. That game look like ass, bro. It's it's the animations, bro. It look like a cheap ass flash game. Like I'm, I don't like the visuals of the game. And when I heard, okay, I'm hearing um, when they said Dead Cell developers, I'm like, alright, it's about to be pixelated. It's gonna look like Dead Cell. It don't look like Dead Cells, bro. It's, a, it's just an ugly game visually. Like I'm not even looking at the gameplay visually. It's an ugly game. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't play that. What the fuck does that icon mean? I don't know. There's too much shit going on over here, bro. I gotta go that way anyway. All right. Yeah, when I hear Dead Cells, I think of a a graphically nice looking game, bro. What they got going on over? Here? Like some shit they threw together. 
And then, right after it got rumored, it was already announced. Like, if they throw this shit together, bro. I just don't see that. I don't know, bro. And the Prince of Persia game just came out. That flopped and on top of that. The last Prince of Persia game that came out hasn't even sold 400,000 copies yet. Like, it flopped bad. So the, so the, so the rebound that game flopping by announcing a whole nother game on top of that? That looks graphically worse than the last game you just... I, I, it's fighting an uphill battle if you ask me. Like, it don't make sense. Our last game, our last game, which was, you know, it wasn't a graphical showpiece, but it looks decent. Sales, it fails to sell over 400,000 copies. Less, 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 like, I don't get it, bro. I don't. Hold it down button to heal. Oh. I'm glad you told me that. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you just had to press it. Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong way. Dude on my ass. Get me off of this, man. I'm about to die. Fuck. It's Ori in the blind force ass healing mechanic. I'm trying to parry this dude, this shit is not working. Now, I don't want to go this way yet. Or do a. Bro, uppercut this motherfucker, man. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. And there's some shit over there too. I need a double jump, bro. Bad. It says, I showed up for Lost Crown. Best game from Ubisoft in a long time and people didn't support it. Gamers can only blame themselves. I can agree with that. I'm looking forward to, uh, bro. You know what I want, bro. I want the Sands of Time remake, bro. And apparently a, a story just came out about the Sands of Time remake. So if you know when they showed it, it was looking rough. Uh, but we did have we did have news on the game that they re-recorded all the game's audio from the original game. Got like, it, they pretty much got the original voice cast, if not the whole thing to, to redo the voices or whatnot. Uh, apparently, they scrapped the whole shit. They scrapped the whole shit. They gave it to Ubisoft Montreal. They don't got them fucking call center niggas working on it. No, I don't know who the fuck they were. They ne never made a game before. I don't know why you give somebody that never made a game. For you, that was Ubisoft's first remake in history. I don't know why you would give somebody that's never made a game that task. That was fucking stupid to begin with. I understand representation and you want, you know, I guess Persian people making, I guess they was Persian. I don't know what the fuck they was. No offense, right? But they scrapped everything. They even, even all the voice, they re-recorded the whole script. They got rid of all that shit. They got rid of all that. Matter of fact, not only are they remaking the game, they're also rewriting the game. So they not going with that no more. They doing everything over. So they scrapped the remake and they're making a remake again, okay? So it ain't no telling when the shit gonna come out. Inside the game and it's reporting this, you know. They plugged in, so. They plugged in, so. Uh, I'm just excited, man. You know, I've, I've owned and played every third person Prince of Persia. Well, you know, uh, not third person, what I wanna say. You know, all the, all the non-side-scrolling Prince of Persia games I've owned and played them, right? I, I do have a copy of the new Prince of Persia game. I'm not gonna lie, that demo kind of threw me off a little bit. I thought I was gonna be liking the game a little bit more, man. That demo didn't really do it for me, right? Granted, I got it, I could play it, but you know, maybe one day, I don't know. That 
dude is whooping my ass. Hey. Maybe I'll play it one day, man. Never say never. Some of the gameplay clips was turning me off too, like. I was just watching some of the platform. I'm like, ah. You know how something just look irritating and you don't want to deal with it at the time, bro? It was one of those situations. Like, that game like a game I don't want to deal with, bro. I saw one. I think I think Persona put it up. Some type of platform. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to do this shit right now, bro. Oh. Oh, you got to hit the head. They on my ass. Oh, no. I'm dead. They doing a lot of fucking damage. I need to learn how to fight them. Oh no. We are fuel starters. Uh, we are all fuel starters to all our brothers and sisters who have merged now with the gods of void. Fuel starters, gods of void. What's this supposed to mean? Humans are not like us. They do not know who created them. They also fear death more than any other living creature. So when death occurs, they need to find a way out. They invent reasons in their absence of knowledge. So humans made up their own maker? How silly. In creation, all creatures are creators. There's no end to and no beginning, just an endless movement and you are a part of, <laughs> of it like everything else. That's funny, that's funny. They said <laughs> humans don't know where they came from, so they just made some shit. <laughs> Hey, that was a bar. I ain't gonna lie. They said humans don't know where they came from. They just made a motherfucker up that, that created them. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing. They got it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that, man. But listen. Never mind. Whoa, that's deep. Not really. It's just basic math. Is that a bar, chat? Is that a bar? Humans don't know where they came from, so they just made up some shit? I really wish I could do like a wall jump or... Am I messing with Stellar Blade? I might. I asked my homie BG, was he getting it? I asked my game share partner, was he copping it? He said he was. I mean, if he cop it, I'll play it. How the fuck do you navigate this area, bro? No! How I die? I thought I had him. Honestly, you know what? I don't know how to get up there. I really don't. Not with the current fucking. I don't know how to get up there, bro. I probably could parry that fucking the other joint. But I gotta get up there. That jump ain't gonna cut it, bro. I, I'm probably missing some. Nah, okay, so I can't go that way. Maybe I should go try to open that other door over yonder. There's some shit over there. Hmm. Eastern Ramadan. Fuck they got to do with me. This nigga said Eastern <laughs> Ramadan. Boy, you are... Uh, you are a wild soul, brother. No, I'm not religious, though. I just... I feel like if you know how to act and you carry yourself by your own morals, man, and you're not a fucking weirdo or a dickhead, you would be all right. You don't need no religion to tell you that. If you, if you... If the only reason you act the way you do because of a religion you follow, you're a weirdo. It's like... You should know what's wrong and what's right. If you needed a book to tell you what was wrong and right, you a weird nigga, that's it. Oh, I'm following the teachings of fucking whoever the fuck. Like, are you stupid, bro? I don't need a book to tell me what I should and shouldn't do. Jump and press square, what that do? I don't think I ever went this way. Or oh, I did go this way. You said jump, 
Jump, uh, jump, then press up and square at the same. Oh, you talking about like? It won't even let me do that, hustle. See, this is jumping square right here. I can't even do it with the with the triangle joint. What the fuck? I ain't realized that were two enemies. Got him. Did not realize that was two. I don't know how to open that. I ain't go this way. This is where I didn't go. What'd it say? Oh, I can't scroll up. What'd it say? Hold on. It says, but I'm grateful for the books. Could have been a lot more messed up people in the world without religion. You know what, though? I'm going to say this, though. I feel like... I, I always say this about religion, right? I'm not a religious person, but religion is cool if, if sane people practice it, right? If sane people practice religion, I have no issue with it. The problem is a lot of mentally unstable people practice religion, right? Like they do, they do, they do crash out shit. Oh, I don't believe it's against, uh, it's against my religion for abortions. Or I don't believe in abortion. So instead of just being against it, they're going blow up in a, a fucking abortion clinic. You said like it, it's mentally ill, or I don't like this person because of their religion beliefs. I'm gonna kill them. Like it's just weird shit. It's crash out shit, bro. All that jihad, holy war. It's crash out mentality, bro. If you saying there's nothing wrong with having beliefs, but when you're when you're mentally unstable, you need to get help. You don't need no fucking relief. Get get the fuck away from all that shit. You seen the lady on Twitter? I just seen the other day. She thought that the the apocalypse was happening because of the solar eclipse or some shit like that. She killed herself. She killed her newborn baby and she killed her boyfriend or husband because of the fucking solar eclipse. Like, bitch, are you stupid? Like, what? So I just say I. I don't mind religion, man. You just got to be mentally stable with that shit. That's all. A lot of these people running around this motherfucker crazy, bro. Larry Fisher just subscribed. My Clippers beating the Mavs in the first round this year, yes, sir. You say your Clippers beating the Mavs. I always thought you was a Mavs fan, but you say your Clippers beating the Mavs. Uh, I, I see that series going either way. Clippers been balling, Mavs been balling. That's gonna be a real good series, man. That's gonna be a dope series. I'm looking forward to that one. Feels right to me. I think it's time to have some fun. It's too many enemies in this joint. I wish they did an area of effect damage to everybody else around. I think it might. No, it don't. It's way too many enemies over here, yo. Ooh. I was gonna jump up a hill. I was gonna jump up a hill and I ain't do it. That's my fault. Don't say that. Oh, don't say the text again. the wall yo That shit took 12 fucking damage. That's gotta be it. I 
Damn. Push your wag move. Let me say that shit. Yeah, that shit wild over the solar eclipse, bro. That's what I'm just saying, bro. Like, or like, you know, every few years somebody will come out and say, oh, you know, the world's ending on such and such day. And every time somebody says that, like, whoever it is, they'll say the world ending on such and such day. It's, you always see a couple of stories like this person crashed out and killed their whole family because they thought the world was in it. Like, if that's the case, man, just let the fucking world in, right? If you think the world is going to end, just let the shit in. You ain't got to aid it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> the fuck? Why would you add to that? You know what I mean? If the world is in it, you ain't got to do nothing. Just sit there and let the shit happen. The mental... And I'm mentally stable, dog. That's just how I see it personally. Man. I could be wrong. How do you pick this shit up down bottom? I don't even know. They pink shit. Okay. And that door is locked. You think people are uh, so quick to give dickheads a pass, but good people got one time and one time only to fuck up? Uh, you could, you could, something like that. You know what they say, man, nice guys finish last, man. That's real life. Being nice don't get you nowhere, man. That don't mean you shouldn't be nice, though, you know what I mean? Just because just cause people don't respect, you know what I mean? Just because people don't respect your morals don't mean you ain't got to have none, you know what I mean? That's how I view it. It's a shame people don't respect people that's nice and, you know, do, do what they do, but shit. That's just human nature at the end of the day, brother. Did I heal, man, again? Down, bottom, up top. What I need is a... Oh, Lord, I damn just killed myself. You might bounce back. No pun intended when you fall on the thing, so. I need some more animations for that. Oh, see, look. I answered my own question. I answered my own question, brothers. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. I hear these stories and I feel fine again. Oh, is that the back way? That's the back way. That's the back way chat that I couldn't get up at first. See that? Oh, this game got the back doors? Okay. I need a save spot. Ain't this a save spot? Yep. Hey, the gameplay loop starting to click a little bit. Okay, okay. I can see this game being extremely difficult though. I'm not looking forward to what they got in this game. I know some of these, I couldn't even beat that tall boss. I mean, that's all enemy. I could have, but I ain't have enough health. Uh, well, I guess I couldn't then. I ain't have enough fucking health. How the fuck do I, I was about to say, how the fuck do I get up there? I hate this slime up already, bro. Oh, I had him dead. I seen him do it. That's it. Yep. How the fuck I do that? Oui. Oui. Wow, wow, he followed me. Shouldn't have, but he followed me. What else is going on? Pretty much why I don't listen to people complain about assholes. Y'all let them do the shit. I mean, true. Can't argue that. But you know what though? That asshole mentality, that's that 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 attracts people. That turn people on, right? If you notice a lot of famous people are fucking dickheads, bro. And they they was they weren't, um, they didn't become dickheads after they were famous. You see what I'm saying? They were dickheads before they were famous. That, that, that attracts people, you know what I mean? You ever heard somebody say they like the bad boy aura or they like, you know what I mean? That, 
People like people with a stuck up ass attitude with like a fucked up attitude. People they don't think they can get close to, bro. They like that shit, bro. You turn people on, you know what I mean? Motherfucker don't like no nice ass nigga, bro. Like Info net, you fucking bums. Filthy bastard with big ass guns. Oh shit. You will see that we've got guts to march right over and kick your butts. Ooh, okay, okay, I see what he's doing. Have you heard of the Jiggy League, my good brother? Okay, I admit it, not my best work. I got wasted last night and lost my lyrics book somewhere in the east wing of this area. That's all I remember. Did they gonna add it to the, to the joint? The bloody den. Fuck your couch, nigga. But well, that's a precarious place to put a fucking. They gonna jump up and get me? I could probably parry that, that red shit, but I don't. Thought they gonna jump up here with me. I don't know how to get that if I need it, bro. Oh, fuck. Like right there, oh, I guess it just automatically does it. That was unfortunate. Am I not jumping? Yo. Get your nut ass the fuck. Not just easy ass obstacle. Oh, why wow, they hit me? Get the fuck out of here. Bro, he hit me from a different plane, bro. That was crazy, that almost killed me, bro. Oh, and then when I jump up, it's gonna hit the thing. That's crazy, all right. I don't know what that does, but. The healing system is kind of like Hollow Knight. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, I said, I said Ori in the blind forest, I meant Hollow Knight. There's something in this random locker. It's not our locker, but maybe it's something we could use. Fuck it. Oh, blue tentacle. They don't have no components to edit. They don't have none. Oh, energy cells. Energy is used. Uh, I think I know what energy is already, right? Bro, the, um, when you push it up and down on this shit, it moves like, it's like, it's not one to one. That's why I keep pressing the wrong shit. Fuck it. It's not a one to one situation. Yeah, Hollow Knight is the game I meant to reference with this. I said Ori in the... You don't, you, don't heal, you don't heal like that in Ori, do you? Or am I bugging? I don't know why I thought of Ori when I said that. I can't get where I need to go from that way. I need that right there. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee-wee. Oh shit. Oh shit. How they gonna send me to the trenches, bro? Really? Send me to the trenches, dog. Damn, is that the first donation I've gotten all day on YouTube? Holy shit. I forgot I, I forgot I was streaming on YouTube. I ain't got no donations on YouTube. Holy shit. Damn, YouTube chat, y'all ain't. Is everything all right on YouTube, man? I forgot I had YouTube donations on, man. Shit. What's that like? What's that like?
Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Fuck me, man. Okay. I don't know how to beat that tall motherfucker. I see that now. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh, I didn't jump! Yo! In too deep, baby. Damn! Fuck. I keep hitting the wrong button, man. Please, man. It take way too long to heal, too. The niggas be broke, try to voice their pain. Black Metal Gamer has just donated $2 through Super Chat. What third party studio would you want to see shut down? Third party studio that I want to see shut down? Platinum Games. Carry this big motherfucker. I don't know. Never mind. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, let me find out. Oh, and let me not find out. No! Big motherfucker. No! Fuck me. I gotta cheese this joint. Now it look to me, baby. I need to say this. Fuck me. What's good, Titan? How you doing, brother? Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That banner died doing some dumb shit. Motherfuckers never die. Like, what's good with this, bro? Should I go back, bro? It's a safe spot up there. <sighs> that I'm not active. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. All right. What's good, Rush Star, brother? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing, brother? I'm playing this game, man. Cookie Cutter, man. Fairly recent game, man. Metroidvania game, you know what I mean? We checking it out, dog. We checking it out. This is cool so far. It's cool. You play a lesbian robot, actually. Yeah. I'm not joking. You play a lesbian robot. Uh, your creator, which is also your lover, gets kidnapped. You get left for dead, and uh, yes, you're on a you're on a vent. You're on a revengeance fucking uh, journey, I should say. Did you see? Did you watch the Joker two trailer? Yes, I did watch the Joker two trailer. Uh, I really enjoyed the original Joker film. It was the last movie I went before the, the the pandemic lockdown, COVID lockdown. That was the last film that I went to the theaters to see. 
I thought it was a, a fantastic movie. I actually purchased that movie on 4K Blu-ray. Um, I don't purchase a lot of movies on 4K anymore. I don't purchase a lot of movies uh, physically anymore. So for that to be one movie that I actually did purchase with my own money, that should tell you I really enjoyed the movie. I'm looking forward to it, man. The sequel looking all right. I was one of the people like, yeah, sequel. I don't know about no sequel, man. Depending on, right? Then they talking about it's a musical. It got Lady Gaga and this shit. So we gonna see. I thought the trailer looked pretty dope. It looked like it's still in line with the first movie. They didn't stray too far off from the storyline. Looking like it might be fire. I hope it's fire, right? I will be seated for the new Joker movie, okay? We will be seated. Holy God, who's sneaking up on me at this hour? Wait a minute. Are you a, are you the courier? Is that why I said courier earlier instead of centuries? I feel like I had saw the word courier before, but maybe my mind is just fucked off. Maybe I knew somebody was gonna say it later. I don't know. Yo, are you blind? Wrong direction, dude. I'm over here. And newsflash, there is no food on your table. Please forgive her, sir. I assume, uh, what's that? I assure you we mean you no harm. What? There are two of you? Of course I'm blind. Can't you see the thing without my L can't see a thing without my L uh, LED visor? Last one got crushed. You here with my replacement? You're confused, old man. I'm not the delivery guy. So, who are you? What do you want? We're just passing through names Cherry. And I'm Regina, sir. Pleasure. I've got a kidney stone the size of walnut that's just passing through too. Ha! Huh? Okay, first TMI, second gross. I think your brains are scrambled, old man. We're out of here. Hey, wait a second. Before you scram, let me give you a little gift. Take this elevator key card. There's an elevator on the other side of that door. Give it a shot. You will be able to come visit me way more often this way. It's, uh, what is it? Oh, it says, as short as this conversation was, feels good to chat again. Don't forget my LED visor next time. I remember passing the elevator when I first got into this building. Like, maybe that's the same elevator that we didn't have a key card for. Why well, is our ano idle animation twerking? I don't know, brother. Would you rather have it any other way, good brother? I don't know what's the point of that was. I don't think I need to go down here. Oh, yes, I do. That's the elevator right there, I think. The, this is the elevator. I think. Yep. Back to the beginning. So I wonder what those other doors, elevators as well. Big ass map, yo. So what is? Oh, I guess if the elevator not like if the elevator was down, I could hit this and bring it back up. I guess that's what that is. That's like a secondary switch. Where her feet at? You talking about this character? You can see her feet. She got like black shoes, right? Found the foundry. You see her feet? You don't see them? They got on the black. You see the shoes now? It's kind of hard to show you. I see. I see them though. There's got to be some type of reason to destroy those. How the fuck? I found it, but I can't navigate this motherfucker. <laughs> You can see him on that elevator a little bit. Y'all don't see him, bro? You know what's weird about this character model, though? It's been a lot of talk about female character models recently, too, by the way. By the way, that Star Wars shit, bro. I'm gonna be real, bro. I don't see the complaints, though. I feel like it's a decent looking character, bro. From somebody that's not into Star Wars, you know what I mean? The, the character look fine to me. I don't know why motherfuckers are playing it. I could be in the in the um, minority, I guess. But anyway, you know what's weird about this character model is that the character, the Denzel robot, she's skinny, right? But the character model make her look fat. Like her legs, she look like a BBW by the legs. But this character model, if you look at the beginning of the game, the little cutscene, she's a skinny character model, bro. Well, that big pink motherfucker with that with the little globe on the head, the one that ate him, I guess. I thought that was supposed to be like a boss, but I think it was. 
Did I never activate this one? Or I'm just reactivating it? See what see what I need for this door over here. Security measure. Toshibo's ID. Who the fuck is Toshibo? So self healing. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I guess I'm going back outside. I don't see an objective marker. Where the fuck do I supposed to be going? I guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the other way outside and see where they take me. Maybe I don't know. I got to that door at the top, but I can't get in there. Wish you could teleport from them little things. Is home base coming back to after dark? I don't know. You gotta ask them. I'm not sure, brother. No idea. I mean, if they do, they do. If they don't, I can't really do nothing about it. Uh, this map don't got like a legend, bro. Like, what is that? I guess that's that blind dude, and then it's some shit above him. I'm trying to figure out. I feel like I could do something with this elevator. It's the reason they gave it to me, but I can't fuck with it. Can I really not get in there yet? Like, I even got a trophy for getting over there. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I went missing shit over here. Oh, no, this is where I went. And I can't. This is where I went. I even got a trophy for getting over here. I don't know. Guess I can't fuck with this right now. Low screens. Bullshit. I guess I can't do nothing right there right now, bro. That door is locked. I'm gonna go outside and see what else is going on. Why did home base leave? It's a long story, man. Just know it, it, it go back to like, uh, Tick, Tick had a God role, which if you know the God role, the only people that got the God role, well, the only people that was supposed to have the God role apparently was podcast members and Hardhead, cause Hardhead helped manage the Discord, I guess. Some type of way Tick got the God role, BG told, hard head to clean up the discord by way of rolls tick got his heart tick got his god roll removed and he was not happy with that and he said why does hard head have one i don't have so that's pretty much the, the crux of the uh situation and bg said i'm never giving you the god roll because you don't need it and then tick said well if you don't get it to me i'm boycotting and if tick boycott home base gonna boycott there you go I ain't mad at it. They not, I mean, they not obligated to be there. I can't be mad at them. You know what I mean? Why would I be mad at them? So there's some other shit down here. What's that? Okay, I can't do that red shit yet. Oh shit, is that a, is that a YouTube donation? I forgot y'all could donate on YouTube. Damn. Bro, I forgot y'all could donate on YouTube, bro. That's crazy. What, the rest of y'all YouTube donate button broke or what's going on, man? Let me know some chat. Y'all forget how to use that joint? Tick tripping. Factory tour. I have been investigating this location on the net. It appears to be a Denzel factory abandoned by InfoNet due to an a specified incident. Maybe we can find something useful in here. Oh, I am supposed to be over a little bit. Tavares Perry has just donated five dollars through Super Chat. What's up, Jack Move? You ain't lying after Stellar Blade. I'm going back to Platinum to make my backlog. Question: Is Platinum your games' is backlog? You said uh, Platinum Games. You know what I do, bro? 
I like to do this ever so often. I actually did it the other day, but I. So if you if you're on a site like a PSN profiles, like, oh, that's a good site, right? They have a thing. They got a further. They got a trophy log. It logs every time you got a trophy, the days you're most active, the times you're most active, shit like that. But it also has a thing I like to use called a trophy advisor, right? Now what a trophy advisor does? How oh, was that? Thank you, Blazer. Thank you, brother. Star has Thank you, brother. Donated ninety nine cents through super chat. Thank you, brother. Um. So what a trophy advisor does is it takes every single trophy that you currently do not have out of the games you played and it ranks them from easiest trophy to acquire to the hardest trophy to acquire. So it just pretty much tells you what trophies you should probably try to go out and get. I use that sometimes. The problem is I usually acquire most of the easier trophies that I have. So my trophy advisor, I think I got like platinum trophies on the first page type shit. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit that's hard to do still. Some of that shit, yeah, not so much, but some of that shit is like, bruh. <laughs> That's like some of the hardest shit to... I feel like I, if I kick this, I can go back. I feel like I can go under this. I can go under this. Oh, I can. Look at God. I should I have done it? It's a question. I know you got a reason. <laughs> Oh, it's just okay. Now we get into the money. We get into the money. Oh man, I ain't streamed since I went to the game, huh? I ain't tell you I went to the Grizzlies game on Saturday, bro. Little dope event, bro. Mark Gasol, Jersey retirement night. So, let me tell you about the Mark Gasol Jersey retirement night, right? So, when, whenever Mike Conley got traded, well, I know when he got traded, he got traded before the 2019 draft. When before After Mike Conley got traded before the 2019 draft, they said, you know, the core four, you know, they was really big for the franchise. So, they all getting their jerseys. He said, you know, y'all gonna get y'all jerseys retired, right? But we knew the order, like they said, uh, you know, Tony and, and Zach gonna be the next season, which Tony's got delayed. He said he got caught up in a fraud situation. Anyway, long story short, so they announced Mark Gasol's jersey retirement date. Actually, they announced his date after he retired. He reti officially retired from basketball a few months ago. That's when they announced his jersey retirement date, right? So as soon as I heard, I hit up my sister. Like first, I had to see what day the game was on because she in nail school and shit. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, um, let's hit the Grizzly game when Marcus Gasol retires retire his jersey or whatnot. And she was like, yeah, I don't know. She ain't want to buy the tickets and shit. She's trying to be cheap. But um, so I'm like, you know, look at the tickets. Because I always tell her to book the tickets. I give her the money. I like book the tickets type shit. So she, she, she dragging her feet. So I'm like, fuck it. I ain't going to go, right? I ain't going to go. I wasn't going to go. Then a few weeks ago, I'm like, fuck, I still want to go, though. I still want to go. I'm like, look at the tickets. So if you don't know about tickets, bro, when they, when people buy the tickets, they put them on the resale markets, right? So when they put them on the resale markets, they put them for absorbent amount of prices. So a ticket that might have been fucking $200 when you buy it, somebody got on the resale market for about 900000 500 you know, something crazy, right? So when she get on there, it ain't nothing but resale tickets. All crazy prices. Matter of fact, she thought she saw one down bottom. She was like, I think it was like at the in the bottom for like 120, but she thinking it's 120 for two tickets. It's 120 per ticket. My nigga, I'm like, I'm not doing that. Cause I know I gotta buy both the tickets cause she don't even wanna go. I'm like, I'm not buying no fucking, then, you know, the game for the be ass cause we ain't got our players or shit. So I'm not buying no ticket for that much. But long story short, man, I ended up wanting to go still we waited till like the day before the fucking game. She found some more tickets, but this time it was 120 for two tickets, right? So I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna send you the 120, cop the two tickets, and we good, right? Bruh, tell me why she tried to get the tickets when I sent her the money, it don't go through. So I'm like, all right, she gonna keep trying. She gonna hit me back. I wait till the next day. I'm like, yo, is it an update? Did you ever buy the tickets? No, nah, they ain't never go through. We wasted, we waited too long. We waited too long. <laughs> Bitch, I gave you the money 10 hours ago. You ain't keep trying? Then she finds some better tickets for cheaper. I'm like, all right, go get them. Give me the money back, the difference. Way too long to do that. Sold out again. I'm like, bro, we ain't finna go to the game, bro. Just send me my money back, bro. 
Long story short, she ended up booking the ticket. Matter of fact, the ticket she booked was like damn near the identical tickets that we was gonna get the first time. So I think it might even been the same fucking tickets. We ended up getting them, bro. Dealing with my sister, bro, is so annoying. Cause she like, so at the Grizzly game too. So at the FedEx Forum, bro, where the Grizzlies play, bro, they got a whole new policy. If y'all don't know, bro, when little baby came here in console, bro, I don't know how this happened because they already had a strict policy, bro. A nigga snuck a gun into the arena when little baby performed here and shot his op on the fucking. <laughs> he shot this nigga on the concert floor, my nigga. Pulled out a gun and shot his op on the concert floor, nigga. What? So now you can't take no you can't take no bags in the FedEx form unless they clear. They got to be a certain size. You can't take a wallet if it's too big. You can't take shit in that motherfucker. You damn near can't go in that motherfucker yourself, like. So I'm like, all right, the game started at seven. But the doors, you know, they got the bag policy, first of all, and they doing a the giveaway. Really, the reason I want to go, they was doing a giveaway. You know, they, they give away like something special when they retire. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, let's head out about four o'clock, 430 to get there early. Right. She don't never want to go early. Nah, that's going to be too early. We're going to be there about five. All right, cool. Nigga, I get there because it said on the thing, it said the doors open at six. Right. Mind you. They giving out the commemorative Mark Gasol vinyl album where he retired, right? It's a vinyl album that really works. It's a vinyl album that has all their career highlights on it from they from when they play, right? I want to get one. They only got 5,000. FedEx Forum can seat like 17,000 people. I'm like, all right. They saying they open the doors to six and still let's try to get there at five, right? We get there at like 440 some. Nigga, motherfuckers is already going. The doors are open, my nigga. Like, I'm like, yo, the doors already fucking open. I'm mad now, right? Cause I'm thinking they didn't gave away all the fucking albums. I just spent $120 to get this fucking vinyl fucking album, right? And to see, I'm like, yo, I'm pissed. I'm salty. Oh, I'm like, come on, bro. I told you we need to leave. And then you got to find parking and shit. It's all a hassle, bro. So I'm pissed off. I get in there. They still giving them away though. We made it enough time. They still had a lot of bitches. And then on top of that, right? So, you know, it's two of us. So my sister get one, I get one. She was like, what you going to do? She, she was gonna give me her she was like what you gonna do with this one bro she show it to me bro i don't even know how i got this fucking factory flaw on it like a fucking uh, actual grizzly bear package this motherfucker i'm like why is your album bent damn near in half what the fuck is this shit i'm like yo you gotta go get another one dog you gotta go get another one bro i ain't paid for now nah, bro you gotta go get another one bro they bugging he end up getting another one but Cool night, man. Cool situation. Man. I almost, I almost dropped the thug tier, man. Seeing, seeing my goats back in the FedEx forum, man. They ain't been together since like 2017, 2018, bro. They did the jersey retirement after the game. The game was fucking horrible. You know what I mean? I wasn't there for the game. I was just there for the jersey retirement. Beautiful ceremony, man. Very, very fucking dope. Um. So yeah, we did that good times production is expected to drop by 72 percent by the end of this week the remaining void particles will be used to power development of the nexus immediate action is needed to restore bro what i about to say i thought i spent a lot of money at the game nigga i went to mcdonald's after that bro i get a bro you know how they got the they got the double cheeseburger meal right not not a double cheeseburger like a cheeseburger with two pieces of meat on it i mean like it's two normal cheeseburgers right so I'm like, fucking, I ain't trying to spend too much money. I've been spending money like crazy, right? I'm buying Grizzly tickets. I'm buying Grizzly's memorabilia off eBay, fucking train cars, all type of random shit, right? So I'm like, fucking, I ain't trying to spend too much money. Let me get the double cheeseburger meal, right? Two single patties, one piece of cheese. Nigga, the meal was not, I didn't even know how much the meal cost when I bought it. I just bought it and then looked at my, like looked at my credit card when I got home. Nigga, the shit was 976. What? Bro, a regular double cheeseburger with two pieces of meat used to be a dollar for one. Bro, if this was like 2000 and anything, the early 2000s, my nigga, that whole meal wouldn't have even been like five fucking dollars, bro. That wasn't even five dollars worth of food. What the fuck? Nigga, I used to get three double cheeseburgers back in the day, my nigga, with a large fry and drink. That shit still wasn't $10, my nigga. And you can get some apple pies with that bitch. What the fuck is going on? Hey, this inflation shit is crazy, dog. Take me back, dog. Take me back, bro. They bugging. Damn, I was mad, bro. They tripping with them prices, dog. For real. I don't want to go down if I can't come back up. 
They tweaking with them fucking prices, bro. I will say it was pretty fresh, though. It's rare for me to get some fresh to cook McDonald's, so. I was like mad and kind of like, you know what I mean? I was indulging in it at the same time because it's like, damn, fresh McDonald's. Work. I might fuck around and hit the lotto tomorrow. Yeah, but I've been dealing with bullshit, bro. Matter of fact, I bought some shit. Speaking of game giveaways, uh, I, I just started this new thing I'm doing. I'm buying for, for, for grids of games I can't go to or that I don't go to. They do a game giveaway. I might get on eBay and buy that motherfucker, right? So um i bought the album from zach randolph retirement because i didn't go to the game i don't know why i didn't go to the game uh i really don't know why i didn't go but i bought the album from that retirement uh game it cost like 40 some dollars got it brand new no big deal bro I, they had this other giveaway they did a few weeks ago bro i bought it off first of all i bought it off ebay right mind you this shit cost me 70 like 75 fucking dollars right was not prepared to pay that price it is what it is we all make mistakes right but tell me why the fucking, the fucking male people put my shit at the wrong door, bro. The male people put my shit at the wrong fucking house, man. Did I ever tell y'all that? So, bro, I don't even know if I ever told y'all the story, bro. So, mind you, this at like 10 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, right? I'm about to go to the casino. As a matter of fact, I had already supposed to have been left out for the casino. But my sister delayed it like an hour. So... I'm getting ready to go to the casino and shit and say your package has been delivered. I'm like, all right, cool. I go look outside. It's nothing out there, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, maybe it's small enough to probably put in the mail, but I'm like, let me go check the mailbox. Go to the mailbox. It's not in there. I'm fucking like, what? So I go, I go back online. I look, it's a delivered at the porch. I'm like, bro, where is not on my fucking porch? Bro. I, now I got to walk around the fucking apartment complex to find my goddamn package. So I go to a corresponding number of my apartment but a different one and it's there i'm like come on bro but the thing was i wasn't even supposed to be at home at that point so if i wasn't at home by just a coincidence i would have never got my fucking package because i highly doubt those people would have realized they either would have kept my shit or they wouldn't have brought it over bro so i had to call and complain on the at the motherfucker at the post office very annoying then my sister was like, you know they not gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna do nothing but call you and act surprised that it happened and apologize. I'm like, word? So, matter of fact, they called me while I was at the casino. Did the exact same thing that my sister said they were gonna do, bro. Like, you would've thought she the one that told them to say the shit the way she, she reenacted the whole shit before they even called. I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, they really did the exact same shit you said. Like, they don't give a fuck for real. I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing they can do at the end of the day, right? I did end up getting my package. But what I was, I was going to have to get my money back from the person that sold it to me, and I didn't want to do that. Because I know they probably did actually send it, but I didn't have it. So I'm going to have to get my fucking money back. Then again, they're going to be looking at me funny, like you probably got the shit and trying to report some shit stolen. And they say it got delivered, so somebody lying, right? It's going to be one of them situations. So I wasn't happy about that, bro. I end up getting it though. Should have lied to say I didn't get it so they can reimburse me my fucking money. Because if I didn't get it, the, the, the post office does technically have to reimburse you up to like, what, $100 or some shit? Like, I should have lied to say I didn't get it. The least they can do is give me my fucking money back. I had already accessed this or not? This some new shit. Do I be playing blackjack? No, 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 no. I used to play blackjack. The only time I played blackjack in the casino, I told you about it. Um, The thing about blackjack is when I was younger, bro, when I really first got my gambling addiction was playing blackjack. Playing blackjack at school with the homies. We would come home and play that shit. I was either playing Madden or blackjack. I ain't never shoot dice. I wasn't no dice shooting nigga, bro. But I was playing blackjack. And I'm playing mad, bro. We gambling, bro. You know, we might do a dollar a hand, five dollars a hand, ten dollars, whatever the fuck, right? So blackjack is really what got me gambling bad, bro. But um The thing was I love blackjack, so I'm like, fuck it. Let me go to the casino. I'ma whoop their ass on the blackjack, right? Went to the casino. I told y'all the story before, bro. I went, it was me, and my homie is girl, right? I forgot my homie was on like the crap table or some shit. So me and his girl, we went and played blackjack, bro. Nigga. 
When I tell you I lost damn near every single fucking hand I had, bro. I was like, what the fuck? And she kept winning. She not even a gambler, bro. So I think I had a hundred dollars I could lose, right? I ain't really got a lot of money back then. I'm like, I lose a hundred dollars. I got to come up out this bitch. I lose like $85 straight, bro. I'm like, what? She winning. She constantly winning. Matter of fact, she won like $450, right? We doing like $5 hands. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I leave. I'm mad. I'm pissed. I see one more blackjack table, right? This shit is a $15 a hand bet. I only got $15 left. I'm trying to lose, bro. I put down the 15, right? Dog. I got 20. It's only one thing in black that could be 20, which is a 21. I got a 20. I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Right? Bro, the dealer get 21, bro. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. What the fuck is going on? I'm like, this got to be some type of sick joke. What? Nigga, I had never seen no shit like that in my life. I'm like, it's only one card that can beat me. And they ain't got it. <laughs> they had it. <laughs> they had that motherfucker. I'm like, come on, bro. This can't be real life, bro. You know when they say the house always wins? They showed me that day. <laughs> I've been on slot machines ever since, my nigga. I'm not fucking with them table games, bro. I'm not doing it, bro. Um, Ironically, though, my, my, my casino that I go to, the Southland Casino, uh, they do share out recent jackpots and at the end of last year yeah it was i think they was both in december they were only a couple of weeks apart they had their two biggest jackpots ever but they was both on table games though so one 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 black woman won over six hundred thousand dollars and one old white guy won over six hundred thousand dollars i think he won like six hundred and seventy five thousand or some shit and she won like six hundred and twenty some thousand it's something like that but they both won like two or three weeks apart. Shit was crazy. And those were the biggest jackpots in that casino's history, so. Them table games pay out if you're lucky, bro. I found the hidden wall, look at me. Come on, bro. Playing dice, how you saying, mama? Same thing, Chinese man. That was my homie Big B used to say, same thing, Chinese man, 10 of 4, you know what I mean? You know what the fuck going on? I done seen my homies have some hellacious dice games, bro. I remember one time we went to the cleaners, right? They ain't had, you know, we living in, they living in the trap. We go to the cleaners and shit. Bro, why, why they know the nigga that's, well, I knew him too, but why we know the nigga that's working at the fucking cleaning house? We're like, what the fuck, what you doing in here, bro? Bro, this nigga on the clock, that nigga get on the ground, die lot, shoot, whatever the fuck they was at. Whatever the fuck he was. Them niggas shooting dice. This nigga at work. I want to work for shooting them up. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? I'm in this whole trying to learn how to clean clothes and shit. I'm like, bro, I don't know how to do this shit, bro. That shit was crazy, dog. Some random bitch gave us some panties to wash. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is, what the fuck is going on in this bitch, bro? So that happened. I remember my homie, my homie got, bruh, I remember one time my homie got his taxes done, right? But the little chick at the taxes place, I guess she was feeling them. She was like, she was like, I can allow your taxes to get you way more back type shit. This is an official tax place. She was like, I can finagle your taxes, nigga, and get you back thousands, my nigga. He was like, all right, she can do it. So she get this nigga back like three bands, bro. He's about to get back probably about $400, bro. She get this nigga back like three bands, bro. She lied on his taxes for him, bro. Well, I see this nigga while he get his tax. He come back. He got a he got a brand new gold grill, top and bottom hole. Like, that, that, that nigga dropped a mad Logo like. Logo Gaming has just donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. Appreciate you, Long Goat brother. This nigga dropped like seven hundred on the grill. I'm like, Ooh, that hole nasty, bro. What the fuck? This nigga started living crap. I think he might have bought a car with that shit. But anyway. The main thing he did was shoot dice with that shit, bro. He shooting dice. He having parties shooting dice, nigga. He losing mad money. I'm like, bro, you got all this fucking tax money back, bro. You shooting dice, bro. You stupid, bro. You stupid, dog. I done seen some of crazy shit behind dice games, bro. That's why I never wanted to shoot dice, bro. Matter of fact, a nigga that played for the Grizzlies, right? Dude named Antonio Burks. He from Memphis. He played for the University of Memphis, but he ended up playing for the, uh, he played for the Grizzlies too. 
once he made it to the league, he kept acting like he was living in the way. Well, he, he kept he kept going to the hood. He never stopped, bro. The way he was living before he was on and, and a millionaire, bro, he kept living like that, bro. So he going to the hood to hoop. This nigga still at dice games. Mind you, this nigga's in the NBA. He's still at dice games. <laughs> One day he had a dice game. Somebody up the pole on him, shoot the shit out of him. They shoot the shit out of him. He lived, but they shot the nigga was in a wheelchair for a minute behind that shit. I mean, he used to come to my, um, when I worked at Kroger, I used to work at this Kroger that was like in a, I guess you'll say in a affluent neighborhood that a lot of Grizzlies players used to come in. He came in there one time, bitch ass nigga. I ain't fuck with Antonio Burks like that. He was kind of like an asshole for real. Well, I'm sensing that it's time to have some fun. They popped his goofy ass too. He had to go to court on the old buddy. That's never a good look, bro. If you a hood nigga, bro, and you get summoned to court to, to snitch on a nigga, bro, that is not no good look for you, brother. That is not no good look. Cause you ain't gonna want to do it. Cause no. I don't know if he ended up telling on old buddy or not. I can't remember. I remember they had to put it in rolling his ass out in the fucking wheelchair though. He keeps crashing. I don't know why. That was easy. Oh yeah, they popped his goofy ass. Who? Are, what other players I used to see? I told y'all that too before. I seen Strong Miles Swift when he played for the Grizzlies. He came in there one time on Valentine's Day. That's got to be the tallest nigga I seen that close up, bro. He, he was he was like freakishly tall, bro. That was crazy. Big tall lanky motherfucker too. I used to fuck with Strong Miles Swift. That was my guy, bro. The Stro Show. He played for the Grizzlies twice, as a matter of fact, because he played for us, then he got traded to the Rockets. Then he came back. I remember that. I seen Jason Williams one time. White Chocolate. That was my guy. He played for the Grizzlies twice, too. He was on, like, that first, like, Memphis team, and then he came back during the grit and grind eras, but he was pretty much... He was pretty much washed by then. He ended up retiring. I seen Mike Miller. He ended up playing for the Grizzlies twice as well. <laughs> Lorenz and Wright. I ain't really fuck with Lorenz and Wright like that. I ain't gonna lie, dog. He was another dickhead. I ain't wanna see him get murdered, but he was definitely a dickhead. Another one of them niggas with a bad attitude. But uh, who else I seen at the at the joint, bro? Them like the main ones. I don't know if players still be going to that Kroger. I mean, they probably do. Shit, I ain't worked there in a minute. All right, Light Shadow Onyx, brother. Still ain't got no components to edit. You said ditch a crib. Oh, you talking about China Mac? Look, China Mac did not ditch Crip Mac, right? What happened was Crip Mac got caught with a pistol and they ended up taking this goofy ass to jail. He faced it like 15, 20 years. And uh, China Mac, which was his homie at the time, tried to get Adam 22 to go to the bail hearing. Cause you know, if you have like a bail bond hearing or whatever fuck, if your employer comes there and gives uh, a good word for you, they might take lenience on you, right? And Adam-22 was Crip Max, man, his boss, right? And Adam-22 pretty much said, fuck that shit, I got shit to do. I got two interviews lined up, I'm not I'm not going, right? So, China Mac took offense to that, which he should. That was his homie, he getting locked up, right? He not helping his homie, and, and you know, he helps out Adam too, so it's like, damn, bro, you gonna do it like this? And Crip Max Infinite Wisdom, instead of saying, hey, China Max really trying to help me out right now and get me out of jail, he says, China Mac is a fucking custer ass nigga. And he was recording a ceremony. You know, you can't record in jail. And he trying to get them set up and all this other dumb ass shit. And then Crip Mac, Crip Mac promise, he got a lot of bum ass niggas in his ear that don't got his best interest in mind, right? So whenever somebody try to help Crip Mac, he got other niggas in his ear that he respect more than the person that's trying to help him and is fucking him over, right? Like Lupe and fucking... 
fucking um King Five Fingers and all these other weird ass niggas. Like, come on, bro. What the fuck is this? I think they got a shield on or something. Come on, come on, come on. That hit me still? My homeboy! Alright. Damn, crack my goofy ass. No! Oh, this is bullshit, yo. Our <laughs> frames dropping? They shouldn't be. My OBS crashed a couple of times, but the frame shouldn't be dropping, brother. I need to go up top. Them boys up out of there. I do with that. Good making kid dangerous are the same age. Are they? Fuck. Yeah, but Crip Max said he's gonna take a plea deal and take like three to five. He said some shit like that. He gonna do like. And what's crazy, Crip Mac, Crip Mac got a kid coming. Crip Mac got his first child coming. He's not gonna even be there for their birth. I think he said he's gonna take a plea deal, he's gonna have a few years to do. And it, it, it sucked because then the Crip Mac uh, little collab channel, Mac Ventures, was taking off. Like, I was enjoying the Mac Ventures video, so now that's put on hold. By the time Crip Mac got out, is he still gonna even have a, you know what I mean? Is niggas still gonna even see him doing this shit? China Mac even made free Crip Mac shirts. All the proceeds was going to Crip Mac in prison. He fucked that over. Crip Mac was handling everything he was, I mean, China Mac was handling every, everything he was sending the shirts out for him. So, Crip Mac is just, you know, and I think he might be bipolar because, you know, he'll have a stint where he dissing on China Mac. Then he'll be like, China Mac, I realize all you do for me, I appreciate it, this, that. It even got to a point where, where Adam 22, Adam 22 got in the fucking Crip Mac, uh, uh, yeah, Crip Mac head like China Mac ain't good for you, he using you for cloud and. It's like, what the fuck is going on, bro? My collecting share can increase the total amount of the energy. Did I pick it up? Fuck. It's just stupid, bro. Oh, what is this other thing I have? I'm, I'm not paying attention. I got this. What's this fire shit I got? Void bullet. You can always want to spit fire for go. Ooh, I have not been doing that. Okay. That should just take 30 fucking joints. I was not paying attention when I got that. Well, I didn't read what it do. I was paying attention. Yeah, that's crazy. Crip Matt be pulling them, though, bro. Crip Matt be pulling them, dog. They don't be bad looking not neither, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Nah, Crip Matt be pulling holes, bro.
crazy me. Cause Max a funny nigga though. He's definitely funny. I just don't like when he do stupid shit like, like letting people. He be crashing out for the wrong shit. I, I I hate I hate when he do that, bro. I really be hating that for him, bro. Like China Mac did a lot for that dude. China Mac he. They were doing on the Mac Ventures. He he got him a bank account for the first time. I think he got him his driver's license. He never had that. Took him to sporting events he ain't never been to before. Took him to. They were doing a whole bunch of shit Crip Mac ain't never did before, bro. He was helping him out. Teach him how to do certain shit. I don't have no more red. I'm fucked. I think I could parry that actually. I think I could parry that. I think I could parry that, but I don't know how. Did I never get this right in? Guess not. Is this the fight I just left? I can parry that, bro. I just don't, I don't know how. I feel like when it blinked, that means you can parry it or no. I guess when it blinked, it don't mean you can parry it. It's just a regular enemy too. I thought it was like a boss. Holy. I'll just say, let's be honest, if I put who's black, he'd be dead. Hey, you ain't wrong about that. You is not wrong. Bro, he was arguing with this nigga Almighty Suspect today, right, or the other day. So, you know, Almighty Suspect is the dude that when dude, uh, I guess dude said something to him, he called him a bitch, right? He spit in dude face, took off on him, started punching him, beating him down and shit. He talking to Adam 22, Adam 22, roasting shit out to the He's like, he's like, I ain't gonna need to get out of line with you because you my boss. I ain't gonna get out of line with you. Nigga, what? You supposed to be the hardest nigga on earth, right? You better, man, you get the fuck out of here. Sucker ass. Dude, you nigga suck him, bro. I ain't gonna get out of line with you because you my boss and all that, show you know what? Uh, get your nut ass out of here. Oh, so if a nigga pay you, can get out of line with you. All right, that's what's up. At least they know where they stand now, huh? Nut ass nigga. Did I not die, sir? Oh my god, I missed. Damn, again? Oh no, this is ridiculous. What? Move, dude. And it missed again? What the fuck? Fuck me. Oh no. I'm dead. Fuck me, that's tough, yo. 
I need to figure this out, y'all. You gotta dodge. That's gotta be it. Bruh. I was about to say, what the fuck? Okay, that was kinda tough. Yeah, they, oh yeah, that's another thing. I don't know why it is. Adam, all of a sudden, I don't never remember him doing this until recently. He's gotten very disrespectful, right, to like, he been trying to start like gang internal gang beefs with the Crips and he dissing on like what the fuck is Adam got going on, bro? And you know, I wonder the reason I feel like he doing all this tough ass shit is because he got like security. Like he got a lot of security. You can't really get into no jumper like that. Like people been pulling up trying to talk to Brick Baby like some real gang shit. Like they politic and gang shit with Brick Baby trying to pull up on him at the studio. But he got security, so I guess he like. Niggas can't touch me. You know what I mean? He on some shit like them niggas can't touch me. I think he on some shit like that. Somebody gonna fuck around hurt at him, bro. They really is. It's gonna be funny, too. It's gonna be funny when somebody reach out and touch his bitch ass. It's really gonna be funny. He ain't gonna be laughing, but I, I think he might be entertaining. I ain't gonna lie to you. Then I just come from so I ain't been up here. Fuck, I miss this area. Hmm. Where am I, bro? He know he not gonna get touched. Yeah, I feel like he know that, bro. I feel like he know that. So now he being stupid. on top of this. There is something on top of there, but I can't get up there. DJ Academics can't fight. DJ Academics ain't even as annoying as Adam 22, believe it or not. Which I thought thought I would never say that. But. See, the thing about... I was trying to block this shit. You know, the thing about... The thing about DJ Academics that I do like, even though he talk a lot of shit, is that not only he can control the narrative, unlike Adam 22, he can really control the narrative on some of these rappers' careers and fuck them over. Um, and they know that. They know that. Uh, and also, he be knowing shit. Like, he be having information about shit like... He be like, you don't want me, I mean, I'm a, I'm a talk shit, but you don't want me to really tell him what's going on with such and such. Like, I tell him what, you know what I mean? He really be having information for real. He, he don't be saying it. So he used what he got to blackmail niggas. I ain't gonna lie, but I mean, it is an effective uh, strategy in beef anyway. I can't be mad at it. They gonna kill him? Oh, dude. 
So even though he talks shit, he actually has something to back up his shit talk at least. Adam 22, I can't say the same. Don't fuck with Adam. He, he do too much shit. Then he got he got a saying content over everything. Like he don't care if you his homie or not. If it's good content, he'll do it. Right? Like he had a homie. He had a homie that used to work for No Jumper. I guess the dude might have slept with like a transsexual or some shit like that. So the thing is, the dude didn't want nobody really knowing his business like that. Adam's supposed to be his homie, right? Adam know the shit. Adam had a person on the podcast to tell all the man business. He like, bro, you know I ain't want people knowing my business like that, bro. What the fuck is you doing? Like, I think that's bullshit. Personally, that's fucked up. On top of that, Adam then did a lot of questionable shit, too, that niggas don't know about it. He, he don't want people putting that out there with him. People, people are, first of all, he had people fucking his wife for fun. So that's one thing that's questionable as fuck. Why he want to expose other niggas. Then... He might got a boyfriend. Like they were doing a podcast. Adam get a call on the phone. He's like, I don't even know who this is. Yeah, I'm gonna answer it on the thing. He answered the phone on the call. He, it was a dude, a very effeminate man. Like, hey baby, we still going out for lunch or whatever the fuck. He ain't no fucking gay dude called him. So if that ain't enough evidence, somebody caught this nigga walking down the street hand to hand with a goddamn gay dude walking a dog. So you can do that in your free time, but then you want to put out what other niggas got going on. Like that's some bitch ass shit, bro. That's some weird nigga shit. And that's supposed to be your homie on top of that. Like, what the fuck? You crazy, dude? He did that for views, bro. Like, he gonna get fucked up one day, bro. Like, he don't got no morals, bro. That's my problem with that dude, bro. Like, I feel like he'd have a nigga op come up there to, like... If he knew it was gonna bring Brayden to your head, niggas, I'll pull up on nobody at the No Jumper Studios type shit. I, I can see him doing that, bro. Then you gonna act like he ain't liable when somebody get fucking murdered, like. This nigga had Brick Baby crashing out talking about he gonna start murdering niggas and shit on live stream. They're like, bro, what the hell? Nigga, Brick Baby start going crazy. Oh, I ain't mean do that. It works too, though. Adam's a piece of shit, is what he is. Oh, he definitely getting that joke off at the expense of a relationship. Know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as having a genuine relationship with Adam 22. Because you don't matter to him. What matters to him is the end result. Like. If he can get a joke off, if he can make you make niggas laugh at your expense, he don't give a fuck how, you know, how you feel about the situation, he gonna do it. I'm surprised Flacco fat ass ain't got, you know what I mean? Noble president of threatened message reached us this morning. We now share with you the words of our enemies. There is no hatred in justice. There is no suffering in the blood of the purified enemy. A soul does not belong to anyone, not even to the body that contains it. We will come to take your head and finally you will be free. The Drifters. The sender of the above message is now under interrogation. Very soon we will know from which sector these terrorists occupy. The enemy's forces are clearly inferior to us. All deleting attacks have been, um, yeah, all deleting attacks have been repelled with extreme ease. Your strength accompanies us all, noble president. Always faithful. Tiberius Nielsen, head of security, Infonet production year 212, week 45. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, they, got the, they got the two strongest niggas in here. Oh no. Oh no. How does my OBS keep crashing, bro? Irritating. If anybody's a mod in the weapon wheel watching, just delete my live stream notification. I don't know why I keep doing that. I haven't seen these enemies before. They 
that poop coming out. Oh, shit. Wow. I had 94. They two pieced the shit out of me, bro. Is this the right way? No, it's not. Flacco hard to listen. Flacco just DJ Academics, man. DJ Academics with a BBL, that's all. Did I already? Is this where I need to fight at? No, it isn't. Some of the shit Flacco be saying be funny, though. I ain't gonna lie. He just like academics. They punk ass niggas, but sometimes, bro, some of that shit be hilarious, bro. Fucked up, bro. Is that it? What? Don't start this shit. I start this shit, man. I was trying to parry it, but I forgot I already tried. It didn't work. Yeah, you probably can't parry that. I just don't know how. That's gotta be it. Oh. How you know about this game? Uh, I saw this on IGN preview event. I said, "Wow, that looks really cool. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check out for it." I checked out for it, and it came out, man. Fuck me. You said parry, parrying in this game is useless. You think so? It might be. Dodging seems like it does just fine. I'm in a real precarious situation right now. Like my jumping ain't working, bro. Fuck me, man. What the fuck? Who the fuck? 
Before this life, I worked down in the crystal pits, digging up electro titanium. My hands were all bloodied and sore from all that labor. Couldn't even afford a decent meal. Now that I have a second chance at life, I refuse to be a slave. This is an awakened Denzel. Oh, dear sister, you have finally made it home. Me? Home? Who the heck are you? Forgive me, my name is... What's that? Althea? I am an oracle for all Denzel. I can help you. Would you like uh, to know who you were in a previous existence? Really? You could do that? Yeah, tell me. Cherry, be realistic. Their approach used by this artificial intelligence has no basis in science. I don't think you should believe her. Logic is so limited in its use. My, my small friend, sometimes observing is just not enough. We need to feel in order to know. This a fight? Oh, this ain't no fight, is it? This is not possible. What is it possible? What are you seeing? Please, I'm afraid I won't be able to provide an answer you seek. The, uh, the life energy that lies within you uh, is, shall we say, beyond my understanding. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Do you know who I am or not? It can lead you to greatness, but it can also bring pain and sorrow to your life. You will need to use it wisely. So that's it? You can't tell me anything else? Forget I asked, lady. Well, only you have the freedom to decide who you are truly are. This is what matters, but allow me to offer this. There is more to achieve in life than simply taking care of the ones we love, I guess. Oh, my dear sister, I can feel the oppressive weight you carry. It is clear to me that you, your mission is very dangerous. Allow me to help you on your journey. I have a gift for you. It is on the other side of the door behind me. I very much hope this will lighten your load. All right, cool. There's some shit up there too. Please be a double jump. Who the fuck is this dickhead? Will I be purchasing Stellar Blade? Um, my game share partner said he gonna cop it, so I, I probably end up playing it. Wonton underscore soup two just subscribed. Thank you, Wonton. Thank you, brother. Uh, I, oh, you already answered that. All right. Hey, Cherry, right? Welcome to our community. When did you awaken? This can be very confusing, I know, but never believe you're less than anybody else. Another awakened Denzel right there. <laughs> Double jump, let's go! Let's go! She can dunk. Shit up there too. Finally, bro. Shit. Game changer. Yes, sir. What the fuck is this? In my past life, my primary function was a delivery driver. I did that for 20 years. When the awakening happened, I realized I could choose a new path. What? What am I doing in this mechanical body? I don't feel anything. What kind of existence is this? We need to stay in hiding. Awakened beings like us are always considered uh, anomalies. If you, uh, they find out, they'll tear us apart. Okay. Double jump shout it. Yes, sir. Oswald Sandberg, personal journal, year 210, week 11, my dear. What that say, Aretta? Today is my third day here at the Solarium. I finally found the courage to rationalize this incredible quirks I've seen. This process of relocating the souls of the dead into mechanical bodies is something so incredible and fascinating. I wish Adam could see uh, where I'm working. I hope one day he'll be proud of me. What a strange thing death is. Uh, I didn't think it was so easy to defeat. So yeah, these pretty much real people that got put in the fucking Denzel robots. Is that what's going on? So they, they souls of living people? Okay. So many places I want to go with my double jump better. Where am I? I'm right there. It's shit up there. What I can do with the double jump? The fucking double cup. Fuck. Shit over there. Shit over there. Fuck. Shit up here. Oh, it's so much I want to explore with the double jump, good brothers. What should I do? I got to get out of here in a second, actually. How long is this game? I have no idea, brother. Page two, Oswald Sandberg. Okay, my dear Aretta, today is my 10th day here at the Solarium. I hope Adam is growing strong and healthy. I would love to hug him. I know that we only ever believed in the rationality of science 
and in good faith of the noble president, but I'm starting to feel there's something more behind the origin of life. What is happening here is puzzling. The only reason to work in the middle of this purgatory is to assure us the right to live in the golden city. I will ask my super uh, superiors to give me a different role in this factory. I need to get out of this department. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Got a feeling this is gonna lead to something, but I don't know what. Do I feel like playing this, bro? I do got to get out of here very soon. I'm trying to go to the gym today. Can y'all believe it? Gym and streams on the same day I did it yesterday. Am I going to do it two days in a row, people? That's crazy. I'm about to kill myself by accident. Fuck. I'm about to kill myself by accident, baby. Oh, I got a double jump. I'm stupid. Fuck, I forgot. I forget to double jump that quick, bro. Forget I had to double jump that quick. Holy. Ooh, I did that by accident. Let's go. Hold on. Did Black Bond gain weight? I don't know. You, do you, do, do, is he not cute to you anymore? What, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know, brother. Seven, part of seven, I got This game really good, you think so? It's cool so far. Oh shit! That's got to be a way I could do like a, a down fist on that shit, bro. I don't have no downward attack like that. I'm enjoying this so far. You know what I mean? It's cool. Where am I? Oh, another door. I actually need to go back and actually go where I'm trying to go. I need to go across. I think I need to go across the way. I could be wrong. I don't need to go across the way. Maybe. Ooh can I even get up there from here? Definitely. I need a wall jump now. Fuck. I need some type of wall jump, bro. God damn it. It's a big ass game. There's only one section. I'm assuming you can get a wall jump later on. I'm not sure. I hope you can. Because if you can, I don't know how to go there. Oh, what's down bottom? Down bottom is a bunch of bullshit. There's some shit over yonder that I do not feel like going to look at, bro. Fuck it, we might as well, right? Like some shit I can crawl over there. I mean, jump. Is it this way? No, it's the other way. Let me see. Let's go over here real quick before I get up out of here, man. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Bitch ass motherfucker. Body. Bodied. 
Damn, can I still not get up there? Oh, I can't reach that? What? Bro, what? Look. Even when I did a run and jump, I can't get up there? I'm gonna die. That double jump is gonna kill me. Fuck. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do that a little bit better. Damn. Want that this way? I don't know what's over there. Probably none. Bro, this motherfucker got a, some type of. I wish you could roll with the analog stick instead of the fucking joint, bro. Why did I be nothing over here? Oh, shit. Double jump didn't work. Bro, let's keep... So don't double jump over this? Like, what the fuck? Okay, we got another energy cell. Hmm. It looks like some shit over there in that corner, too. I gotta drop now. <sighs> Some shit over there. They like that's a corner that's not solid either. Or right there. Or right there. I don't even know where that door leads to. Oh, maybe I can go through that door now. Oh fuck. Where is that even at? Um, so if I go all the way up. Fuck, let me see, bro. We just gonna try to look at some of this shit before I get out of here, bro. I don't know if I'm ever gonna stream this game again. I might as well, right? Cause I do plan on playing this game off stream, so guess I'll show you as much of this game as I can. Knew that didn't look solid. We got that. Oh, this is a circle, okay. I guess this is nothing I can fuck with that. I don't know if that's going to be something I can use later, I guess. Now, if I go all the way across... This way? If I drop down. Why BG on Twitter painting his nails? I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. Is it a clear coat? I mean, if it's a clear coat, I ain't got no problem with that. You know, my sister's in nail school right now. She do my nails every couple of weeks, you know. Nothing wrong with putting a clear coat of fingernail. Uh, well, it's actually supposed to harden your nails so they don't fucking break. But Nothing wrong with that. You saying he doing like a little baby and painting this shit different colors or what? And this goes back. Oh, these low screens is too much, bro. Ain't nothing I got. I was like, did my game freeze? So, proprietor. What the fuck is this? So, owner. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Drifter. Last words, people from the north. I hate you all. 
What the fuck is this? I've already been over it before. No, I have not. It's a whole new area. Oh, and the door right there to lock it. No, we can't explore it, bro. Well, we found some new shit. Street saying J Man was at them Diddy Park. Hey, man, I don't know nothing about none of that, all right? I do know nothing about none of that. Oh yeah, I ain't tell y'all fucking 8 Ball MJG performed at the fucking Grizzlies game. 8 Ball the MJG and fucking DJ Paul. That shit was dope. They had this nigga DJ Paul performing one of my least favorite 3 6 Mafia songs of all time, though, bro. You know that Lolly Lolly Pop Your Body song they came out with? Like, that shit was fucking. I fucking hated that song. That shit was trash. That's when they went tried to go commercial and shit, like after they was winning all them awards and shit. Lolly, lolly, let me see you pop that butt. Get the fuck out of here. That was their most commercial bullshit song they ever put out, bro. That joint is straight trash. I'm like, yo. You get DJ Paul in this motherfucker and y'all got to perform this bullshit? Then 8-Ball was forgetting the words of his song and shit. I'm like, nah, bro. This this something different, bro. Y'all bugging, bro. But then they did, they did to stay fly. I'm like, oh shit, it's lit in this motherfucker. The stay fly came out. I'm like, yeah, let's get it. Yes, sir. That's my shit. I remember the first time I ever heard the song, I was at work pushing baskets and shit. I was at work pushing baskets, my homie Vincent. My homie Vincent, he had like this little blue, baby blue car. What was that? What's good, Chrono Clicker? Oh, that was that was that was a crackling lens. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I remember my homie Vince. I had this blue car. And he was driving by playing that shit. I was like, damn, that shit hard. I had one of. And I'm like, bro, what's that song? go like, he's like, bro, what the fuck you talking like? You were playing in your car. He's like, oh yeah, that's that new three six eight. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like that shit hard, bro. Song was fire. Steel Fire, timeless classic, bro. That's like the first time they ever got on a song together, bro. You know, 3 6 always be hating no motherfucker, bro. They wasn't. I think that is the first song they got together. They ain't got no other song. The only other song they got together is fucking, um. That Relax and Take Notes. With, uh, Project Pat and, uh, 8 Ball and shit. That song hard as fuck, too. When they sampled that Biggie. I think they came out with that after they signed the Bad Boy Self. That album they had on Bad Boy South, though. I'll be listening to that shit on, on Spotify. That shit fire. Only thing I don't like about 8 Ball MJG music, bro, some of they beat selection was fucking horrible, bro. Absolutely fucking trash. They got some classics, though. They definitely Memphis Legends, bro. Some of that, some of they beat selection, they need to be in prison for that shit, though. For real. Like, bro, who the fuck signed off on this bullshit? Where am I going, brother? I think I've never been in here. How the fuck do I get up there? I feel like it's a false roof, like... It's no up... It's no up hit attack. I feel like that's a false ceiling, bro. I came this way. Maybe there's some shit over there I could fuck with. You see all that shit over there? That's not a solid ceiling at the bottom, neither. You see that ceiling right there? It ain't got no white line outlining. That's not solid. Unless I just didn't reach up high enough to, to get that. Do I feel like going over there? I gotta go over there to get that way anyway. What? No, I don't. I'm tripping. I can go the other way. Damn. I'm about to turn shit off on the second though. Who should win MVP this year? Shea Gilders Alexander. SGA. Oh, 
shit up here. Couldn't go here at first. Tarek 10 just subscribed. Appreciate that. Super incredible. Have a run at I just peeped it. That, that's a false wall right there. Beat in the ass. So, what the fuck? I'm about to get up out of here in a second, brothers. I haven't been, I can't remember the last time I went to the gym three times in one week. I always, that's my goal, it's like three times in one week. Usually it's just two, one, like, I've been real bad with going three times a week, bro. Matter of fact, last, last week I went two days in a row. I went, I went my days, I usually go Tuesday and Wednesday, right? I'm like, it's no way I don't go three days this week, right? It's no way I don't go three days this week. I'm either going tomorrow or I'm gonna go with my sister on Friday, right? How many days I go to the gym last week? Two. <laughs> I was like, come on, bro. I started off so well, bro. Damn. It's so hard for me to stick to them three days, bro. It really is. I'm going three days this week, though. Matter of fact, what days are right now? It's Thursday. This will be my third week. This will be my third third day this week. I just gotta go today. And I might go tomorrow still with my sister. Cause she can't get she can only go on one day a week, so I might still go tomorrow too. Might do the four days this week, man. Boy that. I don't even know if this okay, so eight point. So I'm gonna see if this is actually a solid. I'm gonna see if this down here is actually a solid fucking roof. Is this where I need a double jump to access? It is a solid thing. So I still some shit over there. Then I guess I'm teleporting the fuck out of here. Cause I don't know how to access that. There's some shit up there though. Why well, I can't do the shit up there? I guess I can't. I'm confused. That's some shit right there. Uh. Where am I, bro? Luckily, this game got a map, bro. All the way across up top. What else going on, no chat? Anything else, else I need to touch on before I get up out of here, man? And give me some TV recommendations, man. I need something to watch on TV, bro. I've been hearing Fallout might be decent, but I don't know. See how I know that was a fake wall. It was no way for me to know that was a fake wall. You see me, brothers? Y'all see me, man. Y'all see how I figured that out? Really a genius for real. I don't know where else there is to go right here, bro. All these walls are solid, right? Look. Except that one up there, which I haven't I haven't been up there yet. Or oh, I did go up there and I don't know. Oh shit! Damn it! Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 I'm dead! Oh yeah, this is where I got the double jump at. I'm supposed to be going up here anyway, I think. This is where I was originally supposed to be going anyway. Shit, 
Shogun P Valley. I ain't fucking with that P Valley, bro. That's nigga shit, bro. Uh, fuck. Respectfully. I need to go on and die so I can replenish my goddamn health. So I can't go that way, or can I? How did I get? Let me try to see what's across the way first. Oh, shit. Curb your enthusiasm? I don't know about that. Bro. Oh, I ran out of. Man, fuck this. Ah, right, that's the thing I need the wall jump for, so I can't fuck with that. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? There's some shit over there. I see it over there. You see that? I'm about to die and come back to this shit, bro. I ain't trying to. Children of the Sun? What? Y'all naming a whole bunch of bullshit right now, man. What I got y'all in the chat for, man? Like, seriously, brother. What are y'all doing to me, man? Y'all name some shit I wouldn't check out on my worst dick, brother. Come on, brother. Couldn't I not do nothing this way? Kirby enthusiasm is good, I guess. Ain't that like Jerry Seinfeld is based on his life? Did I already ask that? I probably did. I'm pretty sure it is based off Jerry Seinfeld life. Oh, she why do that? Whoa, holy. I'm playing like an idiot. I have no health. Holy shit. Why did I do this? I don't know. Fuck me up, better. What genre am I looking to watch? Uh, interesting. You got anything in the interesting genre? I don't need to be entertained with my television watching, brother. That's all. That's all good, brother. Don't need to be entertained a little bit, you hear me? Well, it is shit up here I can indulge in. Once I get to this next checkpoint, I'm probably turning this. Well, I got to. What time is it? Yeah, I got to get out of here. I'm dropping frames and shit. Why y'all tell me I'm dropping frames, man? I dropped 500 frames, bro. X Hamster, now you, now you talking my language, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I get bored, bro, I do watch porn like it's TV, my nigga. Like, all right. I see you sucking dick today. Fuck it. TV so fucking boring, like. Might as well. No, it's got to be a granny getting banged out somewhere. Shit. Silo, I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, shit. How I missed that jump. Are those titties? What the fuck is going on? This is a new area. Double tap this fun design, increase the range of attacks. The last chair to perform a second uppercut in the air during a multi hit combo. I don't have any of these equipped. Yup, oh, hidden room. I 
I keep finding these hidden rooms. I'm really him. I'm really him. Oh, I ain't got the double uppercut yet. And dropping down from here might be foolish, right? I can't drop down from here. All right. I can't do nothing over here. How the fuck do I get up there? John Snow spit off in the dirt. It is, it is. They canceled that shit. As they should. Anybody wanna see that, bro? So then I can't drop down and get here? What the fuck? Oh, this the shit. I still don't know what that is. Oh, that ain't how you do it. What is that, bro? Somebody tell me what that is, bro. My dear Oretta, today I've completed my first month here at the Solarium while I was polishing some silos. My attention was captured by a shrill sound. It was the voice of a captive soul begging me to free her. That, uh, that desperate cry for help hearing it, I understand her fear of being condemned to eternal slavery. If this is what awaits me after I die, maybe I should try to fight or maybe I should try to sabotage the factory. No way I've got uh, no choice uh, to do this long. What does that circle do, man? Please tell me, bro. Come on with this shit, bro. I keep finding these hidden departments, bro. Um, all the way down, I guess. Fuck, let me see. Oh, that's where I got to go anyway. There's the back way. That's the back way. Let's go. How the fuck do I get over there, though? Wasn't I just up there? That always looks like a false floor to me, but it's not. Fuck these losers. I'm not fighting them. Oh no. Damn, did that shit track me down? What the fuck? So it's too much more, no, I can barely see. Fuck. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Fuck. What did I eat today? Uh, I was gonna eat some Chef Bar ID, but I went in the kitchen and found like, like, um, how many donuts? There's like six donuts. I ate. They ate all six of them, motherfuckers. Fuck it. I don't gain weight when I eat donuts, so. Well, I didn't last time I, I crashed out and ate some donuts. The last few times I crashed, I ate some donuts. I didn't gain no weight. Matter of fact, I lost weight, so I ain't tripping off that. I'm almost ready to put my hypothesis out there that donuts might not be that bad for you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm ready to put that hypothesis out there. I gotta do some more testing, though. You feel me?
all these combat scenarios are are laid out the exact same way they put the most important enemies that you got to defeat at the top all the all the grunt enemies are at the bottom i mean i guess that makes sense Mic off. Mic on. I thought we were getting ready to go to the fucking jam back. Still playing this shit. What time is it? I can't see to yo! Oh. That was a new one. They double stack. What the fuck? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Fuck. Get the fuck out of here. How many times have I been to the gym this week? Twice. Thank you for paying attention to what I was saying earlier, brother. Did I go the wrong way again? Hit the wrong fucking button, yo. You want to fight over again, man? Fuck. Oh. They hit me, get the fuck out of here. Find the next enemy, man, fuck. Out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm rushing, bro. Am I going the wrong way again? Where the fuck did I just go to do this? Whooping my ass. What the fuck? That green shit, is, it, it has a tracking on it. Like, that's lame as hell. When you do it one time, it should do it for all the enemies affected in that area. You know what I mean? It's like... Too brutal. Hit the wrong button. 
Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong button. Stop, 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 stop. I keep hitting the wrong button I'm like an idiot. This got to be the only set of enemies, though. What did I think of the Chucky episode last night? I kind of fell asleep on it, I ain't gonna lie. They got Chucky doing everything. These motherfuckers killing the president and shit. They got Chucky doing everything on this new season, bro. Please stop hitting the wrong button. This how they get you. You need to regroup, bro. I can't see myself. I can't. If I could stop hitting the wrong button, that would be fantastic, bro. This gotta be last group. What? to kill me bro that was kind of difficult all right let me get the fuck out of here bro okay so everybody that was cookie cutter okay new little indie game cool little game so far man metroidvania game um i like it i like it just pushing some themes you know they question they questioning religions uh validity and they got some lesbianism in the game and hey listen you know, however you feel about those topics you feel about them topics oh it's a cool game i, I do want to continue to play this offline i probably will play this off stream on the portal uh, will I ever stream this game again? I don't know. Maybe since I'll be playing it. I'm not guaranteeing I'll stream this game again, but uh, it's a strong possibility. How about that? Right? Beat it off stream. I'm finna go beat it off. Oh, you talking about the game? Fuck. I don't know. Now. All right. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate like the two people that donated. I wish it was more y'all, but hey, what? Fuck me, I guess. Right? Anywho, we out. Peace.